So my name's Bill. I'm a Knight Commander and Lead Instructor for the Sovereign Military Order of the Knights Templar in Tasmania. It's going to run through a few basic rules as to how we fight and the reason we fight is not to actually kill each other, it is actually to score points. It's a combat sport martial art is what we practice. Showing you first with a single arming sword. Here we have our mannequin which shows you the eight points that you're allowed to hit. It's a hit to the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is a thrust. They're the only points you can legally hit, but you're gonna hit those in different ways. With the first three hits there's only one possible way you can make a strike on those hits and let's go through that now but before we do that let's look at how you hold a sword when you grip a sword you're holding on very tightly with those two fingers and a thumb and these two fingers here your little finger and your ring finger they kind of float a bit so you can do that we need this motion to be able to carry a successful strike so doing this is no good for a couple of reasons. One is you could hurt your opponent, but the other thing is you overreach. If you do that, you overcommit, and also if you're up like that, you're leaving yourself open, and so most striking is like that. It is a flick, like so. We usually use a helmet on this when we're training because it shows you where the eye line is. When you make your hit, the hit has to be above and down, in a straight line down, uh, it can't be at an angle and it has to be above the eye line. So here, like that. That is what we're looking for as a strike to point number one. Now very important is when you're doing the shoulders, you do exactly the same thing. It has to go above the eye line and down. The reason for that is if I'm fighting and if the opponent moves to one side quickly and if you're going to do that, which is the quickest way there, you have a chance that if they move, they could cop it there. So very important, you must always, with the shoulders, like with the head, has to come above the eye line and down. Also it has to be straight. It can't be at an angle like that because that is cutting into the neck and the neck is not one of the points. Good swordsmanship is about creating a flow. It is not like bashing or you're not chopping wood. That's why you're doing it like this. This bit here has to sting and if you, if you do that really hard it gets stuck. If you let it sort of go through nice you can create a flow. Our flow is one of the things you really look for in a skillful swordsman. When you first start off, you'll be using something like this, which is a synthetic sword. The instructor, which is usually me, I will watch you use a synthetic sword first, and only after a while, if I deem that you seem to be fighting in a very safe manner, then you can move on to steel. But uh, beginners always start with this. You will be wearing gauntlets, you will be wearing helmets, and you will be wearing a padded vest here we call a gamison. So I get students to practice the eights. Also very important is the thrust. We start there, we end there. So there's a twist. It's like a punch and there's a good reason for that apart from it slipping between the ribs it is because if I go this way if I do a thrust that way if they back off and I try and follow and I'm trying to chase them and I overreach it goes up there by doing that it means that you know I might go there if I try and overreach, but that's not going to do the same as that. A 
again, it's a safety concern. Because when we fight with steel, we have to be very conscious of your partner's safety. The other way, we might hit the midsection here. Might do what's called half sorting. When we do that, the elbow is up high. We may do a slice with a big step through, like that, and that's about the only way you can actually hit your opponent. Uh, these are slices, slice, slice, tap, 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 thrust, thrust like that. After you've been taught how to strike properly, Doing the eights, you'll be then shown how to block. And it's very much very similar to a lot of martial arts. That sort of blocking. This being the stingy part of the sword, this being a strong part of the sword. You don't have to hit hard, just a quick tap like that is enough to score a point. Makes a nice ding on the armor. You can block hard, and block quite firm like that, and that will uh, move the sword out of the way. So it's quite okay to block hard and to deflect, but when it comes to hitting, it's not an execution, it's a competition. Our basic tournament rules are that two knights will face off each other, I will shout out on guard and they'll take up their guards. I'll say engage and they will fight until somebody hits one of these eight points. Once they get one of their eight points, they say hold and give that point to whoever's won that point. This will go on until somebody has made three points. Once they've got up to three points, they are declared the winner. The next video I'll make, I'm going to be talking about how to block correctly and how to block in a safe way. Because if you block wrong, you can guide a sword up to your face. We train you to block in a way that you're taking the sword away from your danger spots, always. Come and try Western Martial Arts Medieval Sword Combat. Devonport, Launceston. First few lessons, free.